guys, this is Wantless Chaos, another Bloodborne video. Uh, show you how to actually get to the first uh, DLC boss of Bloodborne. Um, this will be one of the first enemies you come across. Um, you just gotta get your timing down with the stun, you know, to do your visceral attack on them. It might take a couple tries, but once you get that down, these guys are fairly easy to beat. You won't be able to go through that gate yet. Uh, it's going to be locked. There'll be a way to open that up later. But you want to go up here on top of this hill, though, and this kind of pretty much starts your quest right here. Um, there, there's some tough enemies in here, but like I said, you just got to take your time. I mean, if you've, if you've beaten the game, you know how it is. So you just got to learn the enemy strategies. And, like, some of them are just kind of different, especially these guys with those blades. You see how... Usually, you'll, you'll see him pretty early when he's about to whip his blade out, and you can stun lock him from quite a bit away, so it shouldn't be a big issue to, you know, to deal with. There'll be some, there's items hidden all over this place as well, you know, blood echoes, just styles, just everything. Watch out for this little doggy here. I've actually been, I actually use my mace quite a bit. It seems like it does really good damage in here. Uh, only thing I have it where I was using it on the boss, so it kind of breaks really easily. But uh, I've actually really, I've used it for actually quite a bit of the original game. It just, I don't know, it served me well. So you may or may not like it. And of course, of course, the whole holy sword. You know, I use that religiously as well. It's just a really good weapon to use. All right, take this guy out here. You gotta watch out for those um, riflemen, man. They they don't move, and it's normally it's too late. But you want to be careful when you go up these stairs. There's gonna be a big flaming ball of fire coming down, so be sure to run back. You know it'll it'll wipe all those enemies out right there. So you just wanna kind of continue up the stairs. Now up to these stairs to this uh, part up here. I don't know if this is gonna be a boss. It may be a boss later, but once those guys open the door, there's going to be a big monster in there. They're going to try to kill it. And if they don't, you're going to have to kill it. But, like I said, the visceral attacks do work on them. You just got to get your, uh, your, you know, your timing down so you can, uh, kill him. But there'll be an item at the back of that, inside that door there. So you can continue on, on there if you want to. What we're going to do, we're going to go down this little cave now and, uh, go through here. You got to watch out for these, uh, machine guns. You kind of got to dodge and roll. And, uh, I think there's like four or five. They're gonna be, there's going to be one right there. Be sure to, you know, knock it out. But uh, just wait till they fire and then run up and just kind of start taking them out. You can see my mace is already like about to break. <laughs> like I said, I have the, the highest damage possible. But it also uh, lowers my durability. So. Take out this guy here. You know, the, the Holy Sword is always my backup, you know. I, w I would always suggest using this as a backup or anything. I mean, there's there's other good weapons as well, but these seem to do the best. Got these guys here, like to throw their little Molotov time bombs. Now this guy here, you gotta watch him. He is like in full rage mode. He hits really really hard see so just gotta I mean you can counter him fairly easy but he's a lot faster sometimes a little un more unpredictable than the other guy see I was trying to stun lock him and he's just hard to sometimes yeah you just, sometimes you just gotta get lucky to get that visceral on him and I got him out of the way some more dodging and slicing Be sure to pick up all your blood vials, because you are going to need a lot of those, let me tell you, because the first boss is no joke. I currently haven't even beat him yet, so it's it's in the works, though. <laughs> but also, that earlier path, you could have went to the right right there, and there's been some items down there. There'll be two guys rush at you inside the dark, so just be careful in here. Just kind of bob and weave, you know, take care of those guys. There's some other stuff down the stairs, but uh, I'm just trying to focus in on actually getting how to get to the the DLC boss. If 
it's those that you might it's easy to get lost in here there's a lot of different pathways and everything so we want to slide down here um these guys are actually uh they're kind of a pain i mean they don't take long to kill them but you gotta watch out for their ranged blood attack they can they can do some damage again at rifleman i wasn't paying attention he got me right there but yeah, it's gonna be three guys on the other side of this carriage, so just just be careful. They almost killed me here. I got I got a little uh confident, I guess. <laughs> Normally I use my Blaze of Mercies when I'm taking on these guys because it just has such a fast attack that I, got, I can usually uh dispose of them pretty quickly. Right. Get this guy. Sometimes my my attacks just fail. Had to bear with me. All right, all right, got him done. Now we want to go down these uh, stairs here. Well, I've got one more guy I gotta take care of. Get him out of the way. Get his blood vials. Like I said, you're gonna need a lot of those. Now these guys, these blood things, they'll be guarding some stuff, so if you want to get the items, you, you're going to have to kill them, so good luck to you. Alright, going to run up here, going to watch out for the dogs, there'll be a couple dogs. These things are, they can be hard to hit sometimes, they have very unpredictable attacks, so. That's another reason I use the Blaze of Mercy, because the roll counter is... Our roll of aid is it's awesome. I love it. So it can prevent you from getting hit a lot of the times. And you got these nasty crows here you gotta watch out for. There'll be a couple up on top of a roost, roost. So just watch out. They may drop on top of you there. Sometimes if you stun him from that far away, man, you've got to run up to him quick before he recovers. So... Just be wary of that. You would think these crows would be easy to kill, but if you're not careful, they can easily destroy you. So it's not, I would suggest taking on so many at one time. I don't know what I was thinking right there. <laughs> of course, they give you their worthless pebbles. But uh, yeah, you want to go up these stairs here, get to the top of it. You want to continue up to the right and go up this hill, you'll you hear the bell sound, meaning you're close, I guess, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Go down these stairs, now there are going to be two big enemies right here, and like I said, you can stun them, but it's all about timing, it may take a bit, but there'll be a guy to the left over here you got to watch out for, he'll try to sneak up on you, yeah, that guy right there. Then of course, the guy in the back got like a cannonball with ridiculous AOE so just try to lure him and you're gonna have to fight him at close quarters too so you don't get hit by the cannonball you see he about destroyed me here I mean he hits really really hard I'm just trying to get that uh attack on him there it goes got him now I can get my visceral on him I mean you get two viscerals you can kill him pretty fast it's all about timing in this game. Get the blood vials. I'm not even gonna mess with this guy. I'm just like trying to avoid his cannonballs since they are ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, just try to run around. You can fight him if you want. He gives you like 10,000 echoes, I think. So, I mean, you're gonna eventually need him. But you wanna go up to here to the right, and this will actually take you. To a lamp post, so you can actually get back to the hunter stream. So you want to pop that open, you know, get that taken care of and everything. Cause everybody loves checkpoints, right? If you go, uh, if you go down there, that's another area. I'm gonna put that in another video as well. But so you want to run back. Uh, you want to go up this way here. Now a little bit to the right, there's gonna be a witch here. Be sure you kill her because if you don't, and you go toward the boss and you start messing around in your inventory. She's gonna sneak up to you and like try to like scoop your brains out because she's done it to me like twice. So 
But once you go kill her and go up here, this is the area for the first DLC boss. And he is a butthole. But I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, I'll be putting more up. So please subscribe and thank you for watching. Ta-ta.